morning, everyone. It's my great pleasure to give you a brief update on the results of Keynote 24. This has been a prospective randomized trial investigating pembrolizumab versus platinum-based chemotherapy in untreated patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer and high pd one expression. These are my disclosures. The background is the fact that platinum-based chemotherapy is the current standard of care in patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer without any targetable oncogenic alterations. On the other hand, we have seen that pembrolizumab uh, anti-PD-1 antibody, which is approved in Europe for pretreated patients with advanced pd one positive non-small cell lung cancer, has shown substantial efficacy in combination with a good safety profile in pretreated patients as well as in treatment naive patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. And furthermore, we have seen a strong correlation of the efficacy of pembrolizumab with the PDL1 expression on the, on the tumor, and this has led to the concept of the Keynote 24 trial. This has been the design of Keynote 24. 305 untreated patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer were randomized either to standard of care, which consisted of platinum-based chemotherapy or pembrolizumab, given at a dose of 200 milligram every three weeks until disease progression. In the group of patients with randomized to the chemotherapy arm at progression, there was the opportunity to cross over to pembrolizumab. Patients without activating EGF receptor mutations or ALK translocation, without untreated brain metastasis or active autoimmune diseases were eligible for the trial when a high PDL1 expression status has been confirmed centrally. The key primary endpoint of Keno24 has been progression free survival assessed by independent central radiological review. Secondary endpoints consisted of overall survival, response, and safety. The primary endpoint has been progression free survival, and we have seen a significant improvement in progression free survival favoring treatment with pembrolizumab, corresponding to a prolongation of the median progression free survival from 6 up to 10.3 months, corresponding to a hazard ratio of 0.5, and corresponding to a p-value of below 0 0.001. This benefit has been consistent and improving over time, with a six-month progression-free survival rate of 50% compared to 62%, and a one-year progression-free survival rate of 15% compared to 48% in favor of pembrolizumab. Overall survival also has been analyzed and has been significantly improved in favor of treatment with pembrolizumab, corresponding to a hazard ratio of 0.6, corresponding to a p-value of 0 0.005. Similar to progression-free survival, the benefit in overall survival has been consistent and improving over time, with a six-month overall survival rate of 72% compared to 80%, and a one-year overall survival rate of 54% compared to 70%. And this improvement and overall survival has been observed despite a crossover rate of roughly 50% to anti-PD-1 agents. Therefore, this trial has been stopped based on the recommendations of the DMC. Time on treatment has been longer for pembrolizumab with a median time on treatment of 3.5 months compared to 7 months. Tolerability also has been in favor of pembrolizumab with a lower number of treatment-related adverse events, predominantly when we look on the number of clinically relevant treatment-related adverse events, the grade three and four adverse events, where we did see an incidence rate of 26% compared to 51%. So in summary, Keynote 24 has been a positive trial we have seen a significant improvement in progression-free survival for pembrolizumab compared to chemotherapy 
in untreated patients with advanced high pd one expressing non-small cell lung cancer com uh, corresponding to a hazard ratio of 0.5. We have seen a significant improvement in overall survival corresponding to a hazard ratio of 0.6 despite a crossover of 50%. We have seen a favorable tolerability profile and looking on the tolerability profile of pembrolizumab, this has been exactly in the range of side effects that we have seen in previous <laughs> pembrolizumab trials. So for this group of patients, untreated patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer with a high pdl one expression, this treatment option is quite favorable for further treatment approaches. Thank you.